what is up everybody check it out another nice morning orange beach lots of boats going out fishing including us and we're gonna go offshore so i'll probably see you this got about a couple hour ride it's gonna be a great day steven with bama saltwater fishing i'm glad you can join me yo we just got to our fishing spot we're only about 15 miles out but we just came to a spot loaded with some trigger fish amber jack see snapper 91 92 feet of water over some rubble and we're gonna try some fishing, y'all. Let me show you one I'm using real quick and we'll drop a bait down. So I'm gonna take some of this fish bites, drop it down on a bird of prey circle hook jig. So I'm dropping that fish bites down. Hopefully we can get a nibble. Oh yeah, there's something just held on to it. Check that out. Oh, oh. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, it didn't. I got another one of those jigs if you wanna try it. That's a trigger fish. Trigger? Yeah. What a gun. Not a keeper. Pretty little thing though. Now this is a pin fathom 15 narrow 30 pound braided line main line. This is the seven foot medium heavy conventional rod y'all. So we came out 300 feet of water. Just dropped a 300 gram jig down and hooked up to the first fish out here deep. Just doing a little bit of light jigging. Hope it's a grouper or something we can keep. Sit here real and get a little bit closer to the boat. <laughs> All right, Almaco Jack. Well, we got something we can take home and eat. That's a pretty Almaco. Cool. Y'all, so there's a nice Almaco Jack. No size limits on these. They taste very good. Nice buttery meat. We'll take him home. But that's a jig I'm using, just a Johnny's jig, 300 gram, and I have an assist hook on one side and then assist hook on the bottom. So y'all, let's throw this on ice and get back down. We're gonna drop this jig back down, just doing some light jigging. It's going down, the top of the structure is 250 feet. We're actually sitting in 300 feet of water, give or take some. And we got our first fish in the cooler, so here we go. It's gotta fall 250 feet to get to that natural bottom structure. There's a bunch of it out here. All I do is when I troll, for like wahoo and dolphin and other species is if i come over anything i usually mark it and then when i'm bottom fishing i'll come back out and check them see if there's anything hanging on that's how i find a lot of it also the vision relief shading for garmin if you have a simrad at seymour maps and there's a bunch of other stuff out there so once it hits the bottom just kind of lift up let it fall back down or let it flutter down lift up load the rod up let it flutter back down you can also reel while you're lifting up this is just informal jigging gets the job done you can get as complicated or as simple as you like but once you bring it up about 30 feet or so let it drop back down on some semi slack line something decent here mm. yeah yeah i'm gonna <laughs> sit here and use my knee this is my technique right here <laughs> just let the waves of the boat carry them up and just winch them up. It's the easiest way, because it is so hot out here. We're completely out of some energy. That's a decent fish, whatever it is. Okay, we're gonna get them closer to the boat. It is an Almaco. No, that's a nice, that's big a, Almaco. Or is it a, like an Almaco. That's a nice one, man. That's a yeah, I got dinner. He hit as soon as I, oh yeah, there's a bunch of fish down there. Might be worth dropping down, Mel. Another Almaco Jack. Okay. It's gonna eat good when we get home right there on the jig. That's incredibly fun, y'all. This little dark matter rods put in some work. Take this hook out of them. Oh yeah, that hook wasn't coming out easy at all. There we go, sis took. Let's get them in the cooler. But Malik has a fish on. <laughs> you were here just messing around. It's getting so hot. <laughs> and uh, you were messing around about your technique, but it worked, didn't it? Yeah, it worked. <laughs> See what you have here. You got a long way to reel up. What jig were you using? Moon riser. Moon riser. Yep. 300 gram? Yep. 300 gram moon riser. No, I big beeliner. liner Big B liner Yeah, bring that sucker in. We got some dinner. Heck yeah. That's a nice B liner Man, that thing whooped you. <laughs> Show them to the camera, Malik. Yo, Malik just got a nice B liner million snapper they only have to be 10 inches long that's a good example of one so he'll go in the cooler pretty colors on it red eye good job man yep on the jig on the jig we brought zero bait other than fish bites <laughs> well let's drop this jig back down another 300 feet 
Keep on fishing, y'all. It's tough fishing. Super, super hot out here. I mean, I think the heat index is over 100 something out on oh, open yeah. water. We're just taking our time, drinking water in between. But it is nice outside, nice being able to get out. So I'm dropping that jig back down. Let's see what else we hook up. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> see the way it smacked it? Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's probably more like what we want. I think, it's, I think it's another Almaco. It's kind of swimming up. See that? You see it swimming up just now? Oh, it's pulling drag. I wonder what this is. <laughs> big? Something big. <clears throat> or it got ate by something. <laughs> yeah, I swam up away from... Mm. This is cool. <laughs> the only problem is I have zero breath left. <clears throat> Pretty good fish, whatever it is. AJ. Big AJ. Where's that, a red snapper? That's a freaking, that's a freaking huge red snapper. Nope, can't keep that one. Oh keep man. Whoa. That's a big snapper. Oh my God. That's a huge snapper. We'll get the boga grips. Thank you. One of the bigger snapper. He's going to have to go on a descending device. Y'all just caught this stud red snapper. I can't keep it today. I don't make the rules. I don't like to get in trouble in terms of having to pay fines. So he's got to go back. But what a nice fish right there. Heck yeah, y'all. Would have been nice for the dinner table. I'll tell you that. We're going to quickly get it on this descending device. Because this fish most likely would not be able to swim down on its own because it came from pretty deep. So here we go. That heavy weight's going to be able to carry this fish down and then the, those jaws will open once it reaches 100 feet. See it go down and it depressurizes. It's on returnemright.org. Not sponsored, not affiliated, but I believe you can go on there and get you a free one if they still do that. Take a little class. But they say there's a 70% survival rate which is better than just throwing it back or venting it. It's off. There we go. Let's hope that big girl survives so we can come back and catch her. Y'all, that was a big old red snapper. I've caught some bigger, but that was pretty good size. And unfortunately, can't keep them at the time of making this video. So I'm gonna drop down the jig again and get back after it. You get a bite? Oh, heck yeah, I'm Alex on. I'm gonna leave my jig down there because I'm not reeling it up 300 feet. Oh, Is he? <laughs> there, I see color. Oh, oh, scamp, scamp. Yeah, that's a keeper. Bring him in. Cool. Let's see. 16 inches is all he got to be. Dang, he's short. Dang. No, he's a he's a keeper. Yep, he's a keeper. Right on the dock. I ain't throwing back no scamp. <laughs> you got one. Finally. Y'all, Malik just got a scamp grouper barely over the limit they only have to be 16 inches total length in alabama but that is a nice one of the best eating fish out there that was a target species as well great job dude yeah <laughs> that's awesome he's going to go in the cooler see that yellow mouth on him old broom tail pretty fish that's a nice grouper there there we go oh he's off <laughs> oh i got one <laughs> we're double <laughs> dude they're big yo we just decided to troll some uh, x wrap from our fought with spot because we weren't catching anything and malik and i just got doubled up dude this is cool just get an eye on him see what he is ah oh, came off yeah that was a big fish i think here's a little toonie it broke off that's a big bonita i just saw the stripes yeah look at him can't believe i lost my x wrap oh he broke I'm pretty sure it broke off. I think something ate it, to be honest. Yeah, that's a big little toonie. No, I still got my x trap, I think. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, that, yep. Little toonie? We can save him for bait. Yeah, that's a huge... That's a big one. That's why I thought it was a straight-up tuna. Tuna. I didn't see the stripes. That's black fence. I saw the stripes when he made that. That's black fin size little toonie. Malik just landed his. I think mine come off. I lost my X-Wrap, but that's a nice little toonie. 
It's a good size one there. We must have went through a big school of them and doubled up. Check that out. Pretty cool fish, tell you what. He got spiked and he's gonna go in the cooler. That was fun. Heck yeah. <laughs> now I get to tie on another X wrap. Y'all, let's throw out a CUDA tube. We just came in a little bit from 40 miles out. We we're actually 41 miles out. And now we came to about 25 miles. Wind's picked up some. Fishing's slow, but we kind of exp Oh, there's the barracudas. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I found them. <laughs> Dude, there is a bunch. I mean, a bunch. <laughs> Dude, they're gonna blow up on this thing, man. Just wait. Oh. Oh, dude, he came behind him. Oh! <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> I have I have three more of these if you want to tie one on, dude. This is so fun. Are right, you going to hit it? Oh, there's one. You see him? Is that a kink? No, that was a cuda. Oh, you think they're going to hit it doing fast? Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so cool, was it not? <laughs> that was awesome, bro. <laughs> Is that not freaking amazing? I thought he had it the second time, didn't you? Yep. I didn't even see where he came from. I saw where he went. Man, even the barracudas are skittish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got him. Oh, look, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Finally. Oh, he ain't getting any big jumps. He's coming this way. Shooting the boat. Here he is. Come on, I want you to jump. Do the roar. <laughs> Do the roar. Do the roar. <laughs> the kid from Shrek. All right. Uh, I knew I'd get one eventually. Pretty fish. Hey. He's not the big one we saw, but he's a cuda. Come on. Got him. That's, that's a monster right there. Oh, uh, you don't have to get down and grab him. Um, Are you gonna sling him in? Yeah, he's not. He might come off in the process, but that's fine with me because I don't want to kill him. Pretty fun though. He didn't get a jump. <laughs> I'm gonna swing him in towards your tackle box. So he might come off. Nope, he's on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a monster, ain't it? Big old barracuda, y'all. Barely out of the water. I want to get them back. Mean sucker right there. There he goes. Dude, they smell so bad. That was cool. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Malik's over there jigging, trying to get something. They just, they just ain't biting. Y'all, let's get this barracuda tube back out there. See if I can get another one. I'm kind of, <laughs> just kind of having fun with them now. <sighs> Got him. Finally, are you gonna jump? Get a jump! Mm. Got that drag pretty tight. I don't want to tighten it much more. What if a, that 50 pounder came up and ate this one? I haven't even seen it yet, to be honest. <laughs> he ain't putting on a show. <laughs> oh, he might now. He just pulled it. God. What just? Oh! What just happened? Oh. Did he get eaten? I think so. He went. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I think he did get eaten. I think he did. It was. Yeah. <laughs> went from that way to. Yeah. And then the head shake. <laughs> Y'all check out that sunset. Sun setting. That is absolutely beautiful. We are. Heading back in, we actually caught a decent variety of fish. So we're gonna, we're gonna do some trolling and then probably see you back at the house because it is gonna be dark. 
but how gorgeous is that hey y'all i am back home and that was an awesome day out on the water hope you enjoyed it it was slow fishing in between spots but we were just moving around trying to find some stuff and it ended up being a pretty productive day so i hope you enjoyed that barracuda catch a big red snapper is out of season i don't make those rules but i just want to show you real quick that i still have some bama saltwater hats on the website there is limited stock this one's a bama saltwater redfish hat there are richardson hats snapback there's the bama saltwater pompano and then the bama saltwater pink pompano so those will be linked down below along with all the other partners of the channel so we'll see you on the next bama saltwater fishing video if you haven't subscribed yet smash that subscribe button it's amazing sharing these videos with each and every one of y'all as always i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us we'll see you later